Hello and uh, welcome to Simon Says with uh, the legend that is the Travelling TARDIS and uh, we're talking about who would have replaced Peter Cushing had Peter Cushing's doctor regenerated. It's a bit of fun but it's also very interesting. Uh, I mean personally I think Patrick Troughton would have been excellent uh, as would all of our doctors, really. Uh, but, you know, in uh, 1965, 66, was it, uh, that Peter Cushing was uh, around, um, uh, they would have probably thought that uh, they'd need somebody with a stronger cinematic name. And, of course, uh, if we look at the Br British talent at the time, Peter O'Toole would have been brilliant, uh, as would Tom Courtney, Richard Harris... Oh, James Fox, and to some degree Edward Fox, I think, would be. John de Missouri would be an excellent doctor, as would Terry Thomas. Now, of course, <laughs> with Terry Thomas and John de Missouri, what uh, we come across are, of course, British actors who are huge talents, who are excellent at drama as well as comedy, which, of course, we've got used to uh, with uh, David Tennant and Matt Smith uh, as the doctor. So who would I pick? It's very, very difficult. It all depends what sort of image you're looking for. If you're still looking for a sort of William Hartnell uh, age group, as if it were, and of course how Peter Cushing looked, then I would go no further than William Mervyn. Uh, there was also Patrick Cargill. Uh, now, a number of you who um, are fans of The Prisoner with Patrick McGowan, uh, Patrick Cargill played a wonderful number two, I think in two or three episodes. Uh, what, look out and you'll know exactly what I mean. Who else have I got? Uh, Dennis Price. I think Kenneth Cope would have been an excellent doctor. And Peter Butterworth, I think, would have been excellent. Uh, but of course he's already been um, established as the meddling monk, so they probably have to think about that. And another um, British actor who's very good at comedy and uh, very good at drama uh, and a bit rough round the edges was uh, Peter Gilmore of the Norwegian line. And let's not uh, get uh, too uh, um, held down with replacing Peter Cushing with a male actor. I mean, we could easily have found uh, a female doctor to follow Peter Cushing. There's Celia Johnson. Phyllis Calvert, Googie Withers come to mind, as does uh, Jesse Matthews. Um, and if we go down the route of the carry-on team, I know one or two people have spoken to me in the past saying, do you think any of the uh, carry-on team could be a doctor? Well, I definitely think Kenneth Connor would be excellent. I mean, we got to remember he did win uh, the gold medal when he was at RADA. But also we mentioned Peter Butterworth, um, and, and there's Joan Sims, you know, another another talent that wasn't sort of dug too deeply in her time. Um, Hattie Jakes, I'd love to think Hattie Jakes uh, would be the doctor. Uh, June Whitfield, definitely. And there's a marvellous English actress, uh, Margaret Courtney, who traditionally on television played uh, uh, very snooty and brusque women. Uh, but she, in person, had a huge sense of humour and was an excellent comic. So those are my suggestions, really, as I roll my eyes around and try and think of some more. But um, I, I just wish that uh, Peter Cushing had three or four films as the Doctor under his belt, because I thought he was very good. Um, so on that note, I'll say Toodle Pip. And uh, and for, let's find out who's who.